Missy. We are from Group 7. I'm Ariana. Hi, Missy. I'm Bernadette. Hi, Missy. I'm Joanne. Hi, Miss. I'm JT. Hi, Miss. I'm Dimishni, Miss. Hi, Miss. I'm Andre. <laughs> okay, we're, like you mentioned, we're from Group 7, and our presentation topic is on single spending. So what is single spending? Single spending is basically, in a nutshell, it's how single people spend their money and how businesses are starting to cater to these single people uh, and their spending habits. So our research, we aim to, we aim to, to find out what single people nowadays like to spend their money on. So our research comes in uh, three parts. We, we sent out an online questionnaire and uh, we have 160 uh, respondents and we created an infographic based on the questionnaire that we did. So our research focuses on three main topics. Basically, the first one is what do single people spend their money on, needs or wants. The second one is do they prefer to go cash or do they prefer to go cashless? And the third one focuses more on solo traveling. So yeah, I mean, that's our topic. And firstly, I would like to pass the time to Timishini to start us off. Hi, Miss. Okay, well, I'll be explaining about the average spending per month. So, this is basically the percentage we got from the participant. Well, as you can see, here it shows about 56.3% on average spending uh, range between R100 ringgit to 500 per month. And then our minimum spending is about RM1000 and below. So, and then uh, in between there is uh, 500 to 1000 and 1000 above. So if you see me, uh, in my case, I spend mostly on clothing per month. So the range will be from 100 to 500 and well, as well as for food as well. So that costs us uh, roughly about uh, 100 to 500. So uh, if you see uh, in the chart, it shows that uh, people mostly spend between 100 to 500 per month. So next, I'll pass it on to Benedict. Okay, uh, based on our questionnaire question, uh, question that we have found out, we have collected the data, which is needs and wants. Under then our needs, 51.2% they are spending on their needs and 48.8% they are spending on their wants, wants, which is slightly is not different between both. Needs, people who are really, really commit on something which is really useful. For example, pay for their electric bill, monthly rental, school fees. And under the wants, people, those who are just only collection the items or just follow the trending. And as you can see here, like for me, myself, uh, when I was a single, I bought things like not really necessity. I just bought and just use it, follow the trending, and then I throw it out. If last day the item is not, is not, or is not already trending, it's already expired. So when uh, when I realized that I got married, I commit to something and I bought it, it's really, really useful for me and I can use that item for entire, entire years. And after the, the item is broke, then I just throw it. So that is between real uh, needs and wants in our, our survey, our questionnaire. So I will pass to John to explain the part. Okay, hi Miss. So my part, I'll be uh, explaining about the infographic that we have gotten from our questionnaire and we found that majority of people, their income spend mostly is on food and 53.6% is mostly on food but not, limit, not, but not limited to entertainment, clothes and bills and utilities as for my experience. Um, my money spending is around 150 ringgit as I also spend on food and tow and also uh, food and tow and also petrol. 
So next, I will pass on to Eric. Hi, Miss. Okay, I'm going to talk about whether people prefer to use cash or go cashless, which includes uh, e-wallet or debit and credit card. So according to our infographic right here, we and according to our survey, we found out that people, 61%, 61.9% of our respondents prefer to use cash instead of go uh, cashless. And about 20.6% about prefer to use uh, debit or credit card as compared to e-wallet, which uh, took, takes up the remaining of the percentage that we have in our, in the remaining of the 100%. So we found out that 61, like we, I mentioned, 61.9% prefer to use cash and why is this so because currently we are uh, going towards a cashless society we are looking towards a society where people do not need to carry cash around anymore and especially during this uh movement control order thing where it's hard for people to go and get physical money but according to our survey people prefer to use cash and this is because um physical you can see it's more because of the tangible aspect of cash where you can see the cash that is going in and out and you can keep track of how much money you're spending based on how much money you have left in your purse as compared to using a debit card or credit card where you can't actually uh, tell how much you have spent unless you check your bank account statement or something. So. In my opinion, and in my own personal experience, I, I prefer to use cash. And our, according to our questionnaire, 61.9% uh, of the people agree and prefer to use cash as well as of this time in terms of single spending. So yeah, that's all for my part. And I will pass the time to Gechi to talk more about solo travel. Okay, so hi, Miss. I'm Gechi. I'm going to talk about the traveling part. So the question is, would you prefer traveling alone or with a company? So based on our questionnaire, most of the respondents prefer travel with a company, which is 71.3% and there are 28.7% of the respondents choose for solo traveling. So as for me, I would prefer travel with a company due to a lot of factors such as safety and you, you can share experiences with your travel partners which, which can lead to a stronger relationship with them. And for the another question is like, what people mostly spend during uh, their travel? So based on the questionnaire, the result that we get is food. 74.4% of the people mostly spend on food during their travel. There's a sentence say that good food makes good mood, right? And so besides food, 45% of the people also spend on sightseeing and 40.6% 40, and 40 of them spend for shopping. So that's, that's the part from me and I will pass it to Andre. Hi, Miss. So, uh, for my part, I will be talking about the travel budget, sorry, the travel budget and uh, where people prefer traveling. So, for the travel budget, we gave our, um, we gave the people four choices. Uh, the travel budget can be from 500 ringgit and below, 500 to 1,000, 1,000 to 2,000, and 2,000 and below. So, the majority amount of um, our participants, uh, respondents, uh, answered that they that their travel budget is uh from 500 ringgit to 1000 ringgit and that uh and it all came up to 36 sorry 30.6 percent over 100 percent and coming in at second place is um a thousand thousand ringgit to one to two thousand ringgit and in third place two thousand and above and 500 ringgit and below so i I can i can understand why people would uh why 500 ringgit and below would be the very minimal choice because you know when people go traveling they want to you know spend a lot as jg mentioned a lot of them spend um their their money on food 
while traveling. The, so the last part of um, of this infographic is where people uh, would opt to travel. So 83% of the respondents voted or selected that they would prefer traveling in Asia, which part of Asia we do not know, but 83% uh, prefers traveling in Asia or usually travels in Asia while 8.8% usually travels in Europe and 6.7% usually travels in the Oceania, uh, Australia and New Zealand. So um, personally for me, uh, if I were to go traveling, my travel budget would definitely be uh, 2000 ringgit and above because uh, I would prefer to travel to Europe because Europe is a dream destination of mine to go and to go in there and travel. Uh, to be more specific, Portugal. Yeah. So, um, in conclusion, Miss, our group uh, concluded that uh, for travel spending, the the most amount of uh, people spend most of their money on food, sightseeing, and shopping. But from the infographic, there were many other options and there are many other responses. But the majority answer was food, sightseeing, and shopping. Um, that's it from us, Miss. We hope you, we hope you uh, enjoy our presentation and thank you. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss.